All right, so video two on Ableton's timing issues. Uh, I'm going to use Ableton's Simpler with the uh, pitch envelope on. I basically have a frozen copy of itself with the phase inverted to show how it, basically how the phase cancellation isn't consistent, which shows that there's a fundamental timing issue with live. So it should cancel every time. It's just the same sample playing, right? But listen. Now, just to double check, just so you know that there is no trickery going on, let's make another copy. Now I bet the cancel. Unfrozen. I don't know, man, I'm not a fan. For kicks, let's see if the issue persists with sampler. I just have these tracks on the bottom here to simulate some CPU usage. Same deal. All right, let's go to Studio One. Let's see if we have the same thing. Yeah, so here's the same sample, kind of same thing going on in Studio One sampler. <laughs> World of luxury, watch this. Bounce in place. And do they cancel? Where's my my face thing on? Does it blend? Perfect every time in Studio One. So this is definitely an Ableton issue. Final test, I guess. Let's see if sampler and simpler cancel each other out. And if you remember, you know, I just right click simpler, sampler, just, you know, switch it over directly, same envelope, everything like that. They do cancel. So to me, that means the issue is actually larger than just an issue with the uh, stock VST here and actually shows something fairly significant at Ableton's level, probably with the MIDI processing, probably jitter with the MIDI processing, which I've come across before and is another reason why I'm just generally dissatisfied with the software, especially for how much hardware tracking I do. I've done tests before, maybe I'll do another video um, where I've just run straight MIDI from live and recorded itself playing something simple like a click and the jitter actually begins to offset later and later. So something that is like two milliseconds before and four milliseconds later, you know, spread of six milliseconds or something slowly shifts later and later so that the MIDI like jitter spread is the same. But if you take like the average by the end of the recording by like a, a a minute in or, or longer, you actually start to get two, three, four, like even five milliseconds late, which actually means something could very well just be wrong with Ableton's clock in general, which is just kind of fucked up if you're trying to track hardware all the time. Unfortunately, there are just some parts alive that are too good to pass up, but really after this, I'm not sure if I can use it until it's kind of confirmed that these timing issues have been taken care of. Oh, look, I go to do the audio for the video and look what's happened. 
<laughs> Freaking Ableton has frozen. Yeah. This is the last time I'm going to use this software for a good while. There is just too many friggin' issues. I'm, I'm not even running any other plugins. I have M, M Analyzer. Everything else is stock. Huh. Yeah. End task for uh, this program for a while.